Hi, there. This video storybook is created by Prisa Se Wong. It's an illustration of the classic bedtime story The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. I've made this video for educational purposes. Adding some more realistic pictures of the animals in the story and topping it with audio to make it more memorable for kids. After all, most kids enjoy watching movies more than reading books. Ask your kids to watch it a few times and help them adjust the speed of the reading according to their level. Or you can play it in the background as an audiobook for your kids before their bedtime. Enjoy your bedtime story. The Grouchy Ladybug. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock it met a yellow jacket. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At seven o'clock it met a stag beetle. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At eight o'clock it came across a praying mantis. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At nine o'clock it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At ten o'clock it saw a lobster. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At eleven o'clock it bumped into a skunk. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At twelve noon it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At one o'clock it happened upon a hyena. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At two o'clock it met a gorilla. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At four o'clock it encountered an elephant. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At five o'clock it met a whale. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At five fifteen the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey you, want to fight? But it got no answer. So it flew on. At 5.30 the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey you, want to fight? But it got no answer. So it flew on. At a quarter to six the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap, 
that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. The End